Hi and welcome back to Normski TV doing a preview player uh, predictions for the game tomorrow and um, or team prediction should I say massive game tomorrow Arsenal v Villarreal the second leg semi-finals this is our chance to get into the finals Man United are pretty much through leading 6-2 on aggregate. Um, they go to Roma tomorrow as well. And I'm hoping it will be an all English final. Um, we've seen what Man City did to PSG yesterday. Real Madrid are gonna be playing later on um, today, or should I say in the next, well, right now. As a matter of fact, they're probably playing now. Um, so, as we speak, but let's not worry about them. It's about the Arsenal tomorrow. That is the game. Sorry, I've got a sweet in my mouth, so excuse me for um, um, if you, you see me sucking on with something, it's my sweet, okay? Now, um, what I've got to say basically, guys, and ladies who watch this um, preview, we have to win. This is absolutely massive. Um, last week, we went away to Villarreal. Arteta decides that he's going to change the system up, decides that he's going to play without a striker, even though we had a Bamiyang. Um, uh, Eddie and Ketcher, Martinelli on the bench. He decides he's going to go with a false nine. Decides to play Smith Rowe as the false nine. He's not a striker. It doesn't work. Why are you watching Pep? It doesn't work. Pep is up here, mate. You're down here. Yeah? Leave that to Pep. You should have started Martinelli because as soon as he came on, when he was under pressure, the game's changed. And obviously, when Aubameyang came on, you know, he had that big chance slipped, could have made it 2-2. Now, tomorrow is absolutely massive. Today, in the post-match, uh, they interviewed Aubameyang, which was really great to see. Um, you know, uh, he was just, as the captain, giving a boost to the fans and to the players alike as well. And, you know, he was giving a fight and talk about wanting to, you know, you know, end the season um, on a high. Now, it's absolutely imperative that he starts tomorrow. He says he's about 90% fit, which is good to hear. Um, we're also hearing that uh, Kieran Tierney and Lacazette were in training today. Now, how much training they did with the first team, I don't know. I haven't I've seen the video footage or anything like that, but Mikel Arteta has come out in his pre-match and said basically that they're in training. And even... To a point, he was he was a bit coy on, on David Luiz as well because they did ask him about David Luiz and his injury and he said, like, you know, David Luiz, you know, he wants to play. He wants to play tomorrow. Um, they're assessing it, but I don't know. I can't see it happening. You know, he went off with an hamstring or possibly a strain, fire strain, I don't know, but I can't see him starting tomorrow. If he is going to make any kind of appearance, he'll probably be on the bench and that'd be a shock. But I would say... With Lacazette and Kieran Tierney, Lacazette will probably more than likely start on the bench. Kieran Tierney has to start if he's been training and if he's any way fit, if he's 60, 70, 80% fit, then that guy needs to start in the left back. We cannot have Granit Xhaka playing in that position. He needs to play back alongside um, Thomas Partey and we need to win this game. You've got um, Dan Sabalas that's going to be out, so you now have a little bit of legs in midfield. Um, and I'm just glad that he's not playing tomorrow. Even though he had an okay game on on um, on Sunday um, when they played Newcastle, but listen, that was a dead rubber game. But it was good to see that we kept a clean sheet, one two nil, and um, I'm really pleased about that. And Abamian and getting his goal, so that's going to give him a lot of confidence going into this game um, tomorrow. It is absolutely essential that we win this game now. Look, if we play with the intensity, that's something that Aubameyang spoke about, that we need to play with intensity. Now, if we play with the intensity, play at the speed where we've beaten teams like um, Chelsea um, last season and even this season, um, then I believe we can beat Villarreal. I, I do believe we can. I don't know how well they travel, but I do really think that we can um, beat them. Um, Kapu is going to be out. Not to say that he's going to make any difference. I think one of their defenders is injured with, a, with an hamstring. So he, um, he will well, may, well, maybe be missing for that game as well. Um, so 
tomorrow is massive in terms of team selection and who plays. Uh, I will come to that, but you know I can't stress how important this game is. Um, we've got. Um, I'm hearing that there's going to be some sort of protest happening again tomorrow. Um, also, the fact that they want to be cheering in the the coach as it comes in, so that will be really a good motivating factor for the the the, the morale lifting factor for the team, which is good. Uh, I'm hoping that it won't be of the disruptive nature uh, what we saw um, at Old Trafford. Um, we can't afford to have that. We can't afford for the game to be abandoned because if it is, the likelihood is that you know um, Villarreal could probably be awarded. Um, the win and that would not be right so the, the fans that are going down there tomorrow please protest in peace make your point but don't go down there and vandalize don't go try getting into the stadium we can't afford that to happen it'd be good to see you cheering in the team as they come in that would be fantastic as i said that would do a lot of good um for the, the morale of the team and i think they will be focused listening to a bamiang in his press conference today he looked quite focused he was asked about a number of things about his, you know, the, you know, in terms of the ups and downs of his um, season, this season, you know, the, the illness, malaria. He said he's 90% fit, so that's good to hear. Yeah, they talked about his you know, issue with missing the, the North London derby and, you know, he's had a lot of time to think about it and correct those mistakes. And uh, I'm glad that he's able to be open and frank with the, um, the, uh, the press concerning that. But now it's really about the focus of what Arsenal will do tomorrow. We, I say, go into this game 2-1 down. We have that precious away goal, a penalty uh, that Saka um, got and uh, um, Julie um, Pepe puts it away. And, and we go away from that, you know, 2-1 down, but we have that away goal. Now, tomorrow we have to just get one goal, but can we protect a one goal lead? I doubt it very much. That's why I'm hoping that we start off fast. If we can get some quick goals in the first half, then that will put Villarreal on the back foot. And I do believe we will go through. I have got a predicted score and, and uh, I think that we will do it. Call me deluded, but I do think we will do it. Um, Villarreal has still got some dangerous players and we have to be careful because we haven't got a good record at the moment at home. We haven't done too well. We've lost seven games at home in all competitions, that's not good, or even in the Premier League. And in an all competition, it could be nine or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Now, obviously, Villarreal now have got the win against us, so now we need to do it at the Emirates. And I do believe it's a pity fans couldn't be there. The, that moment two years ago at the Mestalla Stadium against Valencia, when Aubameyang got his actually absolutely beautiful, absolutely fantastic. If we can replicate that tomorrow then that'd be great the only thing is we're at home we had to go away 50 odd thousand fans and that got us through um to the finals but then what happened we blew it against Chelsea so let me say this now guys Arsenal Aubameyang you're the captain man I want to see you take that mask out I don't know when you're going to take it out you was asked about the mask when are you going to take that mask out man I hope it's tomorrow I hope you could give a captain's display tomorrow Get that team motivated. This is the biggest game of our lives to get into that 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 um, final. And listen, if we do that, you never know what can happen. It's likely that if we do go through, we're likely to meet Manu. And it's, there's a possibility it could be an all English European final, Europa and Europa. So listen, English clubs are doing quite well in the European competitions. Um, now, in terms of you know um, team selection, as I said. Kieran Tierney, Lacazette have been in training, so that's really good news to hear. Um, obviously, you know, who is he going to go with tomorrow? Um, now, I could go with my predicted lineup, which I probably will, and I will just with a little difference go with his, what I think he's going to do. So, for me, who I would like to see start tomorrow. Um, and uh, starting at right back, I will go with um, Callum Chambers. I will go with Callum Chambers at right back um, tomorrow. And then the centre back pairing, look, I don't think David Luiz is gonna make it. I don't think he's gonna make it. So I'm gonna be realistic. I don't think he's gonna make it. So in terms of the the centre back pairing, I will probably go with um, definitely, I would go with Pablo Marie. 
it'd have to probably be Pablo Marie, God. And holding. Because they have been consistent, um, even though they didn't have a good game last week. But I would go with Pablo Marie and holding. If, say, you know, David Luiz was fit, then I would have probably gone with, you know, Mangalese, Gabriel and, and um, David Luiz as a centre pairing. But because, um, you know, you don't want to mix um, holding with um, Gabriel because I just don't think they're two work together. But Marie and holding, yes. Or even Marie and Gabriel. I mean, Gabriel, that's, a, that's another option. But I'm going to just go with Marie and holding. And then at left back now, if Kieran Tierney is fit, I'm going to go with Kieran Tierney at left back. That's if he's fit. And if he's 70 to 80% fit, I'll go with him at left back. Now, in the, 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 the front two pivot, you're going with Granite Xhaka and Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey, you have to have one of your best games. You know these Spanish teams. Now, I don't want you going and kicking conversions tomorrow. Leave the shoe in to those people that know how to score goals. I don't want you hitting the ball and it's going out miles out of the stadium. Can't be having that tomorrow, mate. You need to be getting those balls, those through balls, those lovely through balls, and pinging to the front three, front four, whatever it is. So, Granit Xhaka, Thomas Party in the pivot. Now, on the right-hand side, we're going with um, Saka on the right-hand side. Um, on the left-hand side, um, do you know what? We need pace. And I'm, I'm, listen, look, this is a tough one because Martinelli played the whole of the 80 minutes. But I will go with, I will start with Martinelli on uh, tomorrow. I will start with Martinelli tomorrow. I think he's got something to prove. Um, the cross that he put in for uh, Bamiyang against um, Newcastle, I think that, you know, if he kind of gets that kind of surplus, I think he's, a, he's more direct than Pepe. Pepe is very tricky. Now, to have him on the bench, that's great. But I would have Martinelli starting on the left-hand side. And then in the hole, I will go with... Um, look, um, Odegaard didn't have one of his greatest games on, 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 on Sunday. So I would go with Smith-Rowe. He didn't play. I don't think he's injured. I don't know if he's injured. Um, I think he's available. So if that's the case, I will go with Smith-Rowe in the hole and a Bamian up front. So... Let's go over my 11. So Leno in goal, obviously. Matt Ryan, yeah, it's got to be Leno because he's been playing throughout it. So it's going to be Leno in goal. Right side is Chambers. Chambers, you need to have one of your best games, you know, getting those crosses in, attacking and defending. Well, I know you, you'll do well at the Emirates. I think you will do well tomorrow. So I'll go with Chambers at right back. The two centre pairings of Holding and Marie. And then left back, Kieran Tierney, the pivot, Granite Shaka and Thomas Partey. Right side, we go with Saka in the hole, um, Smith Rowe, left Martinelli and a Bamiang up front. And then obviously on the bench, you're going to have the lights up. Hopefully, if Lacazette is off, have him on the bench. If Louise, we're saying Louise, have him on the bench just in case. Because you're allowed, I think in Europa, you're allowed five subs, so have him on the bench if he's fit, but I doubt it very much. You know, Eddie and Ketia are going to be there. Obviously, Pepe will be on the bench. So, we've got enough attacking players on there to come off the bench and make a difference. So, tomorrow is going to be absolutely massive. I'm going to be doing a watch along. So, guys, you know, I'm going to be posting it out on my Insta just to say, come and check out the watch along um, on Norman underscore TV. That's my Instagram. That's my, my arm for that. And, uh, um, we've got also, um, I'm hoping to have Mr. Giza, Mr. Tom, coming on with me, watching the game with me tomorrow. Hopefully he's going to be up for that. So Tom, I'm calling you out again, mate. So if you're available for the watch along tomorrow, it'd be great to have you on again. Um, you know, just to have the support together. And yeah, we, we've got to win this game. I'm, I'm going with my predicted score. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be so bold as to say, we're going to have a 2-0 win and we will keep a clean sheet. Two nil win and we go through. And hopefully I won't be eating my words tomorrow. So look out for the watch along tomorrow. It's gonna to be great. Come and check out the channel, support it, you know, subscribe, share, hit the like buttons, whatever you wanna do. You know, this is a massive game for all Arsenal fans. All roads lead to the Emirates via YouTube, TV, whatever it is, all roads 
lead to the Emirates and I do believe that we will get the two new win. As again, please like, subscribe and share. And as I said, check out my Instagram on Norman underscore TV. And hopefully I'll be giving some great player ratings and a review after the game. Listen, take care. See you next time. Take care.